On the left is Dozo, on the right is Kuma, Tokyo undefeated. They can go now. Prep in. Lock in. We're, we're getting as many people in. I'm red. What's the most people we've ever had in a record in a in a mass? Fifteen users? I'm unsure. It's fifteen. I'm sure finals had around that. I think fifteen, yeah, had to have been. What do you think is gonna be the record for finals? The record for this finals? That's we We can be looking at a finals matchup right now. This could be the this could be the the same two people in the finals. Possibly. Very well could. The two favorites to make it. Easily. Aiden, what did he bring that was different than in the mox? Drift Blim and Rotom. Uh, chin pass with chin? Where the fuck is that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll Because I know I have a lug here. I guess it's the Rotom. Well, uh, crates banded and the Rotom can take one. Fucking, yeah, Rotom switches into a crunch and takes like 50. Oh my god, <laughs> off, the, off the rip, we're just giving it the Chi and Pal. Might as well. I'm up, I'm this Greninja, I don't think this Greninja can kill this um, Chin Pao unless it's Scarf with like low sweep max attack. Like Hydro Pump can kill it, but Chin Pao I'm pretty sure can just kill this with a Sacred Sword. I don't know if it's worth taking the risk because I think Scarf Grin is with low kick is definitely a potential brain. Or it's Sash Counter. <laughs> no, I, I, <laughs> not again. Or it's That's Sash Counter. Not. It's Scarf. I mean, Sash counter is the ultimate Chien Pao answer. If a Claude can do it, why can't Greninja do it? Because Greninja doesn't, doesn't learn counter. <laughs> it doesn't? No. Does it get any fighting time move? Besides Focus Blast? Yeah. Right. Mm, low kick. Oh, well, there you go. It'll kill it. Sash Chien Pao, don't stand against this. Come on, Kuma, don't do not do it. We see Sash. Don't fall for it. The screen just Sash. Chances is this, are. Is this a, um, SD Chien Pao? This is just a swap to Prim every single time, I think. No, Either Prim or Annihilate. I don't think so. Oh, okay. I think he's gonna pop the... Thank you. Oh, no. I don't think it's fine for both sides. Power oh, the, the fist! fist. Full load. I'm wondering if it's a subset or a rest. That would be interesting. Will that a fist here. is gonna hurt. Will a wisp and... Could be will a wisp, but then you just go prim and prim doesn't care. T -wave. T wave looks nice as well. I did run, I did run T wave, but I ran it on glow king. So will of the wisp. I like A B glow pick. I like it. That's not what he has. Though. I ran a um I ran a special defensive glow king, but I ran chili reception, thunder wave, foul play, psychic noise. Or into Serena. Oh, this is the willow. Yeah, That's rough. Needed that one. Actually I think he goes for it again. Yeah, I don't see why not. I mean a power whip has a chance to kill this rotom, but a burn power whip. Yeah. <laughs> Unless he wants to get his card in. So it could be an easy Torn switch in, could be an easy Glow King switch in, could be a Drift Blim switch in even. Yeah, because I mean, I look at his switch in Satoru, it's kind of... Knockoff is really good here, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's best to do those Willows again, um, predicting the Knockoff, but Knockoff is very, a very safe move to I don't think anything wants to take a knockoff plus power uh, forward or a knockoff plus ice. Not ice. It so goes torn, bird up, turn? knock. Off. Wide lens oh, torn. Okay, okay. He didn't want to miss. 
I, mean, I, I wouldn't want to either in a game like this. <laughs> I ran AV, uh, Torn. I think that with Torn comes the territory of missing. You're just going to kind of have to roll with it. Um, and so I just ran AV. That way it could take hits better. But if he wants to run offensive wide lens Torn, then by all means, go ahead. I mean, double That's something you're going to miss, though. Double regen, Corey. You can afford to run that. Yeah, I was um, I mean regen for smoking for Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Missing that burn, huh? Missing that burn. Whatever is on that road, he doesn't want knocked off. Or just think it's safer to switch to Torn. Yeah, this could be a very safe probe of pest switch in. Unless, you know, this tornado goes for a fucking focus blast. Predicts the promo pass and just one shots it. That'd be insane. Dude, I don't think there's a world where that happens in this game. Oh, there, there's, there's a world. <laughs> there's also a Nylip sitting right there, so. What type of promo pass was it? It was Terra Fairy, I know that. It was Terra Fairy Iron Defense. That's all I really saw of it. Uh, it's only attack is body defense? Uh, I'm not sure. I literally only saw Iron Fence body press. U turn. Okay. U turn. Is U turn. Back into Rotom. The triple axle. Oh, oh! It missed the second right. one. Honestly, thank, oh. thank God he missed oh the others. God. Yeah, that's. Oh my actually God. Actually, worse for Doza. That's actually good for missing the other two. Karma, that's, that's fucked really up. good for talking. Can you imagine? Yeah, I think the ship with Raggy Helmet would have been worse. This is the... could have taken, what, 39%? Now we go for Willow again. We're going for Willow. This road is physically defensive. It's the, it, it's the ape coming. The ape check. So I guess he's going to, but 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 what but what the switching to Primarina gets you here? It's tough. I mean, it gets you free moon blasts. All right, we're just going for another knock, maybe. Just go right back in the torn, right? Oh, another knockoff. Okay, Colber. Yeah. Yeah. Head the Colber Berry. Okay. Okay. This looks like either a very special defensive Glow King with like no HP investment or. It's like just straight up physical gloking with like no bulk, at least in HP. I could be very wrong on all those assessments, but it, it yeah, just with a Cobra Berry, that seems like that does a lot of damage. Imagine it's too chilly here if he's running it. Double knock. Another knock. A yeah. chilly. Don't matter. Coming to Torn. See, now this would be great if he had Avalog, because then he just goes Avalog and he can Ice Body, he can tear a Fairy. And just sit there. How does Greninja take advantage of this? Either U turn um, kills or is Sludge Wave. It clicks Sludge Wave, it clicks Ice Beam, or it clicks U turn. Yeah, or um, U turn kills from this range. Would but here's the good. thing that is just all Annihilate bait right there. Because this Annihilate takes a Grin hit 100%. Hydro Pump did like 30%. I think that Torn was a bit better here. But I guess he doesn't want to miss, so... Fair enough. Yeah. All of these have been integrates. <laughs> no one's educated enough to know Kendrick Lamar songs. He just needs to do better. Yeah. It's been right here in the Pokemon legs. Just the deadliest <laughs> sin. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi, you <two. laughs> So we're switching into a... So, who, so who's taking the time here? Probably Dozo. Uh, probably. I feel like Puma has this situation pretty mapped out. Yeah, so an island was just dedicated to it, and so... Actually, I think... Uma's, uh, token is the one that's taking Or at least he's got a... Is Dark Pulse neutral to... Annihilate or no? Annihilate, yes. Yes. Oh my god, okay. 
But there's no really other reason, there's no reason to bring Dark Pulse, because, I mean, it hits, okay, didn't want to risk the U-turn. It's a pretty um, good mid ground. Because oh, it, uh, and it it here comes a chin pass, something dies or takes massive uh -oh. damage. What does the bird have that we don't know about? Uh, nothing. Uh, the bird either dies here, risks a miss on Icicle Crash and goes for some crazy, like, Focus Blast or something. Or, um, switches into something else to have something take massive damage or just straight up die. Yeah, something takes massive damage. The Torn came out here predicting the Annihilate to come in. The only thing I think takes a hit from... Because I presume it's an Icicle Crash here. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be. Yeah. Um, it's either that or Crunch, but it's probably just Icicle Crash. Because Icicle Crash is guaranteed kill. Um, or Ice Spin or whatever he wants to run. Uh, it kills the, it kills the Torn, it probably kills Drift Blim, it does massive damage to Treads, which then, uh, Chin Pao can kill next turn, it does massive damage to Glow King, which it can then kill next turn, um, Rotom, how well does that take it? With Rocky Helmet, it still takes only 20%, but then, like, Crunch can probably, uh, two code after that, but Rotom's definitely the switch in here, um, I think, uh, I think Kuma definitely just clicks, like, Icicle Crash or something here to, to hit it, make sure it doesn't take helmet damage. Rotom's a physically defensive wall for a reason. I'm just gonna hope he lives, too. Imagine if the, well... And he doesn't get... Well, he has to live an icicle crash into crunch. I don't think anything on this team does. Except for Rotom. Rotom is literally the only thing that can do that. Rotom can probably switch in once. Myth! There's a miss in the it. icicle crash. That's he tough. Not free Willow with. Now yeah, here. I mean, it could also be a Volt trying to gain back momentum. I, mean, I think nothing wants to take a Willow Wisp here on this oh, team. It is so free. Yeah, there's Besi the Besides Prima Arena, nothing yeah. on. And, well, Moth can't, but Promo Pet, like, you got a four out of six chance to land this Willow Wisp for something you want. Anything that wants to switch into it doesn't want to take the hit after. Yeah. Both will switch works just as well. Here's the Grit Ninja. Um, we know it's Protean, so we know it's not Battle Bond, which is something that I felt like could have been really, really good uh, for a Grit Ninja late game. Because it can then outspeed Shin Pao and have uh, different situations like that. But I think this is either a switch into Prim or into Annihilate again. Maybe he stays in and clicks U turn again, lets this go down. I'm really not yeah, sure. Last, last time he showed he was willing to let this thing die. He clicked U turn, he stayed in on the ground. Or he was calling his bluff, figuring he'd switch out and he'd get chip on something else. I'm sure it was a little bit both. <laughs> but it's good that he was at least willing to risk it dying. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like you almost need to keep this thing alive, though. I feel like it could be worth getting Chip on the Prim or the um, Annihilate. You just gotta hope it doesn't click Sludge Wave or something. On the, If you switch in Prim. But I think the safest play is just Ape. I mean, this thing has done its job. It's knocked off. Because it almost seems like this, this Grin is like Protean with like Specs. Either Specs or Scarf. Uh, but I think King said it was Scarf, so... Which also, if it if it wants to run Scarf, it's probably Physical Grin, which means that, like... Yeah, I don't... I mean, I don't think Annihilate is physically defensive this game, but I also don't know if it has much to kill, so... Physical side... I mean... It gets, like, aggro, but that's not doing that much damage, I don't think. Let's see, what does it get to hit? Um, as hard as getting moved would probably be extra sensory. Yeah, on the physical side, it doesn't get anything to touch Ape. It gets like Aerial Ace, it gets Bounce. Um, it's really about it. Unless you want to go for like, you know, a Sword Stance, and but we already know this thing is probably Choice Locked, so then like there's Night Slash, I guess. There's, um, like, Liquidation as for a strong water move, but none of those are really doing that much, especially not if it's especially if this thing isn't banded. Yeah, I wonder if uh, we could have we could have tell 
if it was uh, physical by the U-turn damage. I'm not sure. I'm not looking at the couch, but... At this point, I do wonder who's okay. taking the time. Okay. Another Rage Fist boost. This is going to get scary. Yep. Here's the Drift Blim. Drift Blim, I assume Ch Chin Terra. Pao escapes the snow with no kills. Yeah, this Drift Blim is Terra. I don't know exactly what... Um... Let's check. Terra, what Terra types are those? Fighting in steel. Switch out to Moth, switch out to Rotom. Alright, we keep... Honestly, I wonder how much that Rage Fist was doing to this Rotom right now. 41 to 49. Good. Yeah, almost half. It had, like, the smallest chance to, chance to Tuco, but... Like, it literally have to be two max rolls into each other, but... Does this Moth ever live a Hydro Pump? Um, Does the moth ever live a pump? Allegedly, yes. If the Rotom doesn't have like any special attack investment, yeah. But I don't this know if the moth wants to stay in. Could click energy ball. It could click a sludge wave, like sludge wave into energy ball. Um, it could try to go for the fiery dance, get a boost, and then click energy ball. Sludge There's the sludge wave. Oh on. my god, that's that's that is. That is a not specially defensive Rotom, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely not. Or it's Specs Moth, now, which I think it very well yeah. could be. That opens up Chin Pao a lot. Oh yeah, no, Chin Pao is the freest thing ever now. The only thing he has to worry about is that, uh, that Scarf Grin. Also, yeah, that was literally a uh, that was a uh, higher end roll of Sludge Wave. Not max roll, but higher end with Specs. That's a, that's a Specs Moth. Which means that this Glow King takes, like, no damage from it. Yeah, this Glow King could, to the reception, I think T-Wave could be decent if he's trying to catch in something like a Chin Pao. Honestly, without having Avalug here, I don't know why he's running Chili Reception. That just gives Chin Pao a free snow defense boost, and it gives it boosted Icicle Crashes. So, like, I don't I don't know why Chili Reception is a thing here. If you I don't, don't have Avalug. The damage of the... Uh... I think it just does the. I thought it did. Maybe that's other weathers that I'm thinking of. Yeah, sun and rain do. Yeah, it's other weathers. Man, they really said nah, screw snow. It was even worse before this gen. I know. They said screw snow, yeah, screw yeah. hail, rain and sun are just better. Oh, oh there's plumbers. plumbers. There's the Terra Captain. Into Torn. This, this has no reason terror. to Terra right here. Quick U-turn trying to scout the Terra, I imagine. In fact, this can it just does. Iron Defense. He could run Focus Blast. I think he has to Terra here. And I think there's a probably U-turn scouting the Terra. I guess we've only seen one move from this thing. He's Wide Lens, which probably says to me that he's running inaccurate moves and Focus Blast as well. True. What's up? What's up? We're live. Watching this game. Let's go. We're at 16 viewers. Perhaps a broken record. I am unsure. But it's unless we've caught on camera. So as of right now, it is. <laughs> or maybe it's not. I can check that. I've been, I've been watching to... Um... It seems to me that right now Dozo is losing. Dozo's playing yeah. very defensively. This Shin Pao without that uh, Greninja there, yeah, just wins the game, so. Yeah, they're on the box. I think Shin Pao at least gets a kill once it comes in. I don't think it wins outright, but it definitely for sure, gets a kill. For sure. it yeah, it depends on if it's locked in. Honestly, even just the slightest bit of chip on that Greninja, then Sucker Punch can kill, so. We haven't seen the treads at the field yet. This is true. Treads could be booster speed to help with the uh, chin pow as well. And the annihilate's also 150 damage on his rage fist. Yeah, it's but that that annihilate is a rage fist button click waiting to happen. One click away. And you said this was Terra Fairy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the yeah, fact he went torn on the purple pass makes me think it has focus blast. 
Yeah, I definitely assume so. I don't even know if it's worth going for here, considering the yeah, it's not. Probably. This Pearl Pass probably... The worst thing this Pearl Pass can do is probably, um... Thunder Wave, because I doubt it can one-hit KO. And as long as Torn doesn't get one-hit KO, it can always get its health back with Regenerator. He can also set up rocks, that could be very annoying for Dozo. This, this might be one of the few matches we see where timer has to happen. There was already a timer match earlier this season. It was like this week, isn't it? No, it was like week four, I think. This might be one of the few ones. Yeah. We are 25 minutes in, turn 14. We are thinking... No, but I do think the game is going to speed up soon. As the champ now gets in. Just want them to keep that in mind. And as soon as I'm you done turn. typing, Doesn't you Tara. turn. Treads. Flash cannon. Lefties. That seems like a pretty risky play from Tokyo. It's a decently risky switch for Dozo, too, because, yeah, he's probably body press. He's probably going for it here. That's why he bolted into probably torn again. Yeah, this works too. Oh, he just de died us. What do you want? Split we're fine. Where are you chilies again? Yeah, this looking beats this. I don't get yeah. bringing eye death. Like, I think there's some. Pr you don't have to always be eye death on Purple Pass. I don't think it's like necessary. Considering Slow King quad resists body press. Um, maybe he has Earthquake. I it was meant for Avalog. It was meant to 1v1 oh, Avalog. Because yeah. Avalog could come in and sit on uh, Probo if Probo didn't have Iron Defense to just body it. Yeah, this yeah, does very little. He got, uh, but the Slow King has nothing to hit him. Okay, now this could be an issue. We're going for Burn. Will it be? Will it be? No poison move. He might just bolt right back out. Dozo keeps using switching. I was thinking that tokens is gonna switch, but he's just. Uh, he just doesn't have a reason to switch. Yeah, he doesn't. So Tokyo can just uh, get chip constantly. I mean, it doesn't work on Sloking obviously, because Sloking has regenerator. But like, none of uh, his guys are taking any damage except for Serena. Oh, oh. but he's right back to where he was. The promo pass is lower, I guess. Yeah, promo pass doesn't ever cover right now, which does suck. But I think the promo pass was just here to help with um, the Avalog, so I think it it doesn't really have its purpose now. So I think I think Token is just fine with it dying. Yeah. I mean, yeah, probably, I but we don't know what the slow king set is, so who knows? Fourth move. Probably an into now. I just I mean, it's yeah, just... this is Ranger Greninja, but Greninja has some battle bombs, so I don't think it really matters. This, I mean, this bubble pass is super experimental now. I think he's just trying to get chip on things um, that aren't slow king, um, just because why not? Like, I think he's just waiting to get something in for free, like a Chin Pao. Yeah, what's this uh, Purple Pass's fourth move? I'm not sure. I was going to say, if he has Stealth Rocks, just go for it. I only ever saw these three in Mark. <laughs> oh, so it's... <laughs> it's... Tokens is taking it's a while. Token? Those are with the call out? Casual? <laughs> oh my god. It's like he's playing chess with himself. <laughs> he's, play, he's hitting the timer every time he makes it. Well, he's gonna actually get about a 15% on um, Slow King. So, Slow King's only at like what, 90 now? 88? Uh, 88. I think so. Yeah. So, Slow King's at 8. He has 12% chip on Sloking. Which is pretty good. Anyways, he's going to go Greninja here. Oh, he didn't no. go Greninja. Was was if, he goes, if he goes Greninja, you have to know that you have to switch. And keep I mean, this is just a back. Volt, right? Yeah, he's just going right. to Volt right back into Sloking. With no with no ground type, I would just Volt Twitch too, I guess. Yeah, but then Chan Power comes in. Yeah, this Rotom. I don't know what, what is uh, Token's ground type. I know he has one. Um, that's Mudstail. Mud yeah, this Rotom probably could have been like offensive. I imagine. And the first yeah, two. 
Robo Pass dies. That would have gone Greninja. Now? Yeah, you should go Greninja. No, this is just like now a Prim or, uh, or an Annihilate switch in. Chi in. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend Prim Arena because this thing's only shown U turn, so it could very easily have Gunk Shot. But, um. True. It is Scar from what Kingston has said, so. Annihilate, I think it's perfectly fine. Annihilate and Quick Rage Fist do a ton to anything. Yeah. yeah. Rage Fist doesn't kill here, though, so you might want to go for, like, you know, something Green. like. Um, drain punch. Like if they switch into uh, if they switch into drift limb, so what? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It really beats drift limb because it outspeeds. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like just just click drain punch. Give it a potential kill in this Greninja if it stays in. If it goes drift limb, so what? You can just rage fist the next turn. It beats it. So like. You could swap and torn. You guys, it's also true. Forgetting that. Um, the as a Torn's pretty important because if he does rage fist and Torn dies, that's pretty huge. He just she sacks Roto Roto now. Sacks okay. it. Okay. He's sacking yeah, the Roto. I guess getting chip. Gets... I think he goes Torn comes out. Right? I'm guessing. Okay. Oh, he has to go different. And he's gonna go for the hurt, the fire. There's no reason not to anymore. He's gonna go for the flying move. In fact, the only thing that doesn't get two hit KO yeah, right now is Blue Marina. Storm. I'm gonna be real didn't... honest. Doesn't do like anything to this. If it's Spidef, it lives, right? Oh, this this thing is AV Spidef. Like, yeah, it lives. I don't. I think it just went triple. Then he should just Rage Fist. Yeah, especially if this Tornadus actually hits a move. Oh, just swaps and Prim. That works too. That takes a lot more damage though. So I don't know why you would do that. Yeah, I think because I think it's. Again, unless I'm I don't. Something. I don't know if it's necessarily an offensive prim. I think it's more so an offensive uh, torn, if anything. No, but even if, if it's a defensive, um, offensive. Oh, comes back oh, out. Here we go. Don't miss a crash. Smile. Pop picks one. Yeah, he has to choose something to go down here. Picks the treads. Oh. Takes it, but it doesn't have speed. So this is just another crunch or icicle crash. Honestly, I think it's probably just a crunch. What is this thing's item? Can you be smurfing? There's no way this thing is. I don't think this thing is scarf. Even. No, I'm saying what is Chain Paul's item? I don't know. Probably boots. No, it's not boots. I really don't know what it is. I never got to see it. Maybe E belt. I'd be very interested in the scarf treads. With what this, with what that? the EV spread looks like, I don't know why he would be scarf treads, but uh, we'll see. I don't know if this is something you can raise. Those, but yeah, five holes. Good scarf. I think he's got a scout for the scarf. These new champions just like you can get in later. Yeah, I think he should could do the, the, the Chien Pao sweep. Oh, he already could do. He could just suck her if he has a... Is Chien Pao going to sweep? Is it going to end? No, because he's going to go run. Well, this treads is like... Looks to be fully physically defensive. Just volts. Well, he's operating under the assumption that it's a scarf treads. I mean... It very well could be, so I think it's, I think it's fine. I don't see why, you know... Alright, you just go Bleak Winder and you get a kill. Because now Annihilate has well, to switch in. If only yeah, it was so well, simple. Annihilate doesn't, like, it doesn't straight up get a kill, but it has to click Bleak Wind twice to get a kill. Yeah, it gets a kill if it hits two Bleak Winds. Something that is not very easy to do. You know, Dozo's on the back, but he needs to do it. He needs to try. This is going to come down to, like, um... A little bit of sack warring. Oh, he doesn't even go for it. I would have gone for that for sure. Because this has way more counters right now. Another There's kill. the return. Kills. I like, honestly. Uh, yeah. Here's the drift blim. Yeah, I think Chin like Pow just comes back out here, doesn't it? Just picks up another kill. Yeah, it should. 
obviously this thing could be Colbert slash Yachi, but yeah, this yeah, Truthbomber hasn't really done anything this game. I wonder what it's even here to do. Maybe spread burns around, do something. Moth comes out. That comes Moth. Okay, I mean, go for Fiery Dance, and then you know, like take a Shadow Ball or something. I think he's gonna. He might Thunder Wave, which would be pretty bad for tokens. Um, I think I think I think those look at me from this position. And All right, that makes sense. That makes even more sense. All right, just pretty good play all around. Uh, I guess he was scared of like a sash or something. I don't know. Unburdened sash. Yeah, he's just turn. Oh, Going back into Chin Pow. No, Zach. Yeah, Treads back into Treads. Set. Just a crunch. Yup. Okay. Hard grin. And then it's, it's like, just yeah. gonna be U turn. I feel like this is the time when this is like Hydro Pump. Yeah, he could pump. I'm not sure. It might be a roll for Pump to kill Champo. Uh, I believe it is. Check, check if I'm, I don't if know if Champo's dying. What was that? Got low kick? No, oh, brick break. Check if brick break. Yeah, low kick or um. I mean, yeah, brick break kills because everyone's. Well, no, I guess Champo's defense is lowered, but. Yeah, it kills. Yeah, any fighting coverage would kill. But all three others, it would be very bad to have a fighting move. So I think it he's just going to... also be Chopple, theoretically. I, I, I think he's going to U-turn, if I had to guess. He's U-turn. Annihilate's going to get another boost. So Annihilate is becoming like a huge issue. Again, as well, I was thinking, like, maybe a pump comes out here. Has, um... Rest? I don't think it's that big of a problem. It's not rest. Yeah, I don't think it's that big of a problem. Honestly, Kuma just needs chip on this, um, one. this liquidation. Look okay, so it is a physical uh, grin. Alright, uh, right, so he's got this gump. This is for, like... For but, uh, he, he, he's a locked in, I'm guessing, so... Which means that, like, um, yeah. Brick Break is that still that very much an option. Yeah, I think he might be, like, fighting move, U-turn. Gunk, and then Liquid. I'm guessing that's the set. Watch this not be Scarf the entire time. Watch it click Gunk yeah. here. I mean, if it's not Scarf, oh, it is key. Scarf. Okay, cool. Oh, well, this that is might be bad. just the chip that Shin Pao needs, honestly, because Shin Pao lives in Liquidation, or just goes Annihilate, gets a free Rage Fist off, kills something. Well, maybe not this, but yeah, gets 20. It's ton of damage. That's big. He needs to hit Liquid twice. If I was a... Um, yeah, I mean, it once. there's that, and then Rage Fist, yep. Oh. Alright. Picking up the chip on the Annihilate. Good play. Liquidator comes back out. I think this is the point where this Annihilate just gets sacked, probably. Yeah. I would sack Annihilate, yeah. You, you sack something, something dies, so... Yeah, you sack Annihilate because... Yeah, no, because, yeah, I was saying, because here's the thing, he sacks this Annihilate, goes into Chain Pow, because then a Liquidation does not kill, um, then you get a free, like... You know, crunch, probably yeah, crunch for sure, and then you just pick up kills. Yeah, uh, those don't have the sacks. Those don't cancel it. Because he could win with this grid ninja, but he doesn't have the sacks. Not, I think if he had one more sack, he would. He's not gonna win grid ninja. What the hell is he gonna win with? Grid ninja, but he doesn't have the sacks. If the grid ninja. Yeah. Because uh, the Greninja can kill the Prim and the Moth, and it just needs to lock into the fighting move no, against Chianpo. But he doesn't have the sacks to do it. Because he goes for that, and then he's going to go back to Gren to click the fighting move that he has. Yep, but he's going to have a good prediction, right? Yeah. Yeah, so he's going to go Yeah, he's going to have the fighting move. If he... if he doesn't have a fighting oh. move, I think that's just a throw. If he doesn't have a like, why is this grin here? Alright, so let me give XOI, I, I thought Drupalim could have won. Drupalim yeah, Sack for Marina, that's smart. Oh, this is actually getting interesting now. I mean, I still don't, I mean, it's still just, like, Sack yeah, this thing just, here. He doesn't have enough, he doesn't have enough. If it U-turns, this is just, like... He should U-turn, because, uh, Slow King is better for 
You, you don't want any chip on yeah. your. And your then guy. this is just like a surf or whatever water move uh, token yeah. says. Yeah, flip smart. Flip turn now... to okay. Then he just goes. He goes. Chin he goes. Pow. Chin pow, he crunches and then he has to lock into liquid. Yeah. I, I do think... So crunch should just get two, unless it liquid crit is the only way. Oh, defense drop is huge. I don't think it matters. It does matter. Because it switches out. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he didn't have to there. Oh. Crim lives. Ooh. Tough. I, just click your hardest you hitting move right here. Because if is unburdened, Unless it's like noise, don't click that. He should have just sat there fucking... Um, Alright, well he did click so he could noise. Liquidation with Greninja. So then this comes out. You go to Gren. Gren lived that. He should have gone Gren for sure. Yeah, he would have won if he did. Then sack the Moth. Unless... Sucker Punch is a healer, so... He has to go for... He has to go for uh, Liquid crit. That's the only way. Does he get it? Goes for it. Doesn't do get anything. it. No, no sword. Sword. Yes. Oh. G friggin' G's. Yep, GM power was too much. Nah, 